My altar is calling in you, oh God. I speak over you. You will not fall victim to this evil moving around. No. You will not. That another man has made plans to cause destruction. And you, you are planning to move and go and make meaning out of your day. And the man is saying, anybody that comes in, we will kill them today. It, it will not be your blood. I speak that in the name of Jesus Christ. All of these things happening in this nation and in this state, of course they will end. They will end. But even in the time when they are happening, you will not, it will not cut your life short. It will not. Everything that God has said concerning you, you will fulfill. Not you, not any member of your family. If the vehicle has to stop, let it stop. One of those times, listen, one of those times I was in my house and I was praying. My wife just traveled and she was going back to Jigawa. I don't know if I've said it here before. And she was going back to Jigawa. And I was just praying in my room and about 10 o'clock, 10 to 11 o'clock thereabout, I had a witness in my spirit. I sensed something was not right with the vehicle she was inside. And I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, if this vehicle has to get bad for them to move into another vehicle, let it happen now in Jesus. I didn't know anything. And then she got to Jigawa and she called me. And she said, you don't know what happened today. I said, what happened? She said, the, the, the vehicle we entered, the driver was a very fat man. And it was as if the man was just driving carelessly on very full speed, too rough. On several locations, they were going to have serious accidents. And then somehow he drove one kind of nonsense driving and they had one, I don't know what happened. And the car just went and stopped somewhere. And couldn't move again. And that's how, and when the car stopped, to tell you how terrible it was, the driver could not even come out. He was tired. He was tired. He was tired. Everybody had rushed out. The fat man was just. That's how they now had to get another vehicle. And continue the journey. And I asked her, what time was this? And she said, between 10 to 11. I speak over you. You will not be a victim of evil men. You will not be a victim of any form of disaster. Whatever is about to happen before you, if you are on that journey, whatever has to stop you will stop you until whatever happens, happens. Of course we know that that's not the ultimate. The ultimate is that this thing should end forever. But you see, for the time being, before we step into that possibility where everything has to end, in the name of Jesus. When the story of this whole insurgency is being told, how it came, how it happened, and how it passed, you will be the one telling the story. They won't find you in your house. They won't find you anywhere. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah.